Well, yeah, um, how are you enjoying it so far here at Motherwell Hillsborough? Yeah, it's been good so far. Um, obviously, it's been about two weeks now, so um, I settled in all, all all right. Um, but yeah, to start off, it's been really good. I've enjoyed it. And I'm just trying to get into grips of it now, so yeah, it's been a good couple of weeks. How have you found the team since you've arrived? Obviously, not in the best form, not won a league game since October, I think it is. Do you feel that the team should be winning more games? Do you feel they can be winning more games? Um, yeah, I think obviously, at the minute we're going through that period of obviously, maybe um, not win as many games as we should do. Um, obviously, I think the first game was a hard game. It was obviously the conditions were to play for it. And I think about, if you look back at that game, obviously, if we don't concede at the end, everyone kind of forgets about that game at the end of the season. Um, and I think probably maybe that's over the next couple of weeks we really need to drill that winning mentality into us um, and just go and win as many games as possible, obviously. When you're in kind of like a little rut of obviously not winning games, I think it just takes one game and then them type of things have changed. Enough. Obviously, we've got enough quality in the dressing room to go and do that now. How big an opportunity is Wednesday then, St Johnston? Yeah, it's massive. We, obviously, we take every game as it, it comes. Obviously, the next game is as important as the game after. Um, we just focus on the next game, really, and I think um, a win will really boost our confidence. Is that all it takes me just to, to flip the switch? Because you look at the results this season, so many... One goal defeats, you know, and, and games maybe they should have won that they've drawn as well. Is that is that you, can you really kind of make a big impression if you just kind of get these five margins kind of on your side? Uh, yeah, hundred percent. I don't, I don't think obviously um, a win when your mentality changed the dressing room massively. I think um, obviously being at several other clubs that last season. Um, I think that one game it gets you on a bit of a run, and then I think obviously as soon as you start winning games, it's kind of hard to knock off it knock you off that like pedestal so I think obviously one or two games wins um, it gets everyone right up for it and, and gets everyone really positive so one or two good results will really change now um, and I think we've definitely got the uh, quality and the calibre to go and do it. Obviously it's been a long time since level one here in the league, is, is that something you've got to put your mind when you go into a home game? Uh, for me it's not obviously because I've only, I've, only <laughs> I've only played one game here. Um, so obviously I can't really answer that on behalf of all the other lads, but for me, it's just a, another game and uh, another game that we can go and win and, and do well. Is it hard not to look at the table and look at the upcoming fixtures and see, you know, where that win will come? Um, yeah, it does. Um, obviously, you don't want to see yourself at the bottom half of the table. Um, I don't think anyone at Motherwell wants to see that. Obviously, you want to see yourself right up there, but you kind of just take it one game as it is, and obviously. I think every game is winnable, um, so we just need to go and put the results together now. Does that affect you when you do see, you know, it comes up on the TV or on your phone or whatever and you see that you are you're somewhat down, does that? Yeah, 100% obviously. Uh, for me as a player, um, I've got quite a lot of pride and, and obviously that, that mentality is to go and do as well as possible. So um, no one wants to be at the bottom and I certainly don't want to be. And um, by the end of the season, hopefully we won't be. Uh, we just need to go and pull that right, really.